one was available. Jace was banned. Those are his two most. Uh, he can't really move that fast it has a at all. To yeah. farm up. <laughs> LCK total. Oh, okay. We're getting optimistic. The flash forward, and the last auto nearly got him. And well, that's not going to land. And now Barrel might just go down here. He's going to be exhausted, and Mystic is Whoa. just out of range. But there you go. The passive comes in. That's going to be a second kill onto Ghost. Double kill to the Aphelios. And just like that, Afrika get a massive lead here in this game. Now, Mystic can take that wave, and Ghost doesn't have TP, so he could freeze. It's kind of awkward. Showmaker yeah. is here, but Nogari from the jungle is going to get on top of Fly and immediately take him out. Not sure how Nogari got here so fast, but now he's going to be burst down. Oh. This is going to be a nice trade going the way. Oh. Nice! Oh, that oh. flash was incredible! <laughs> As a uh, double kill comes in, and Canyon just unbelievably stomps that mid. It's a very easy gank setup. This requires Keen to make a mistake in order to make the gank work. So, Well, this is did. a three on one. Keen is gonna get pretty far ahead and down he will go. Here comes Fly and Spirit though, trying to 2v1, uh, 2v3 rather, as, uh, okay, Spirit on the Olaf showing uh, exactly what that champion is capable of. Fly tries to get in there with the Ignite but he's got a Lee Sin nearby, and Fly is also going to go down, as I feel like the dominoes are falling one by one extremely rapidly. It does make sense. Uh, Barrel on the set is going to get knocked up here. Here comes TF, though, and Set is just going to go in there and smack his face down. Mystic is going to get 1v1 by a set, essentially. And now Domwon ahead of the play. That is going to be the exhaust coming in. That is a big kick for the double knockup. As in will go set, essentially sacrificing his life. Canyon is having an unbelievable game oh, of Lee nice Sin here. Duggle. Yeah, nice try. Not quite enough damage, though, as they don't commit to it. But that is another big play in favor of Domwon. And I mean, Canyon is also about an entire level yeah. for Spirit, and now, now he will be, yeah. He is just all over the map. I mean, obviously, he's 7 and 0. And now he's just everywhere, and I, I don't know if they think this is safe. This is not safe, running through your own jungle. As, okay, the Q is going to miss, though, and now Barrel has gone pretty far forward, but he is set, so he's not too worried. Oh, oh okay, that's good. Oh, my Vigil just barely missing. Yeah. There's really not much for a freaking to do. If if Don Juan wants to be so okay, okay, they're just gonna burst down Keen. But again, there is Karma. That's a nice chain of corruption right onto Ben. He is toast. As eventually he goes down there. Nuggery gonna catch another one. Spirit didn't want to use his Ragnarok, and he is actually gonna hold on to it. As casually, Don Juan just move forward and engage. That way they cannot get Baron stolen away from him as easily by an Olaf. This one has flash, though. Yankos did not. Oh, as, all right, hey. here we go. Well, Barrel is going to get low, but it doesn't matter. He's set. Mystic doing a nice amount of damage in that back line. He's going to be able to nearly take out Nuggery. Spirit in the front line. He's got a Karma. As well, that Moonlight Vigil wasn't what you were looking for. As can they burst through the shield? Yes, they can. One gold card and a dream. It's a very realistic dream, though. Was fourth in the league. It's actually going to be above what they had as an average. <laughs> yeah. So they're they're gonna they're gonna gain some more stats. Says okay, see you later, Mystic. Oh, uh, he is gonna survive actually, but finally he oh. goes down. Will the Lee Sin die? Is the only question I have, and the answer is going to be absolutely not. A clean sweep ace as dumb one crush <laughs> Afrika in this one. We're going to have a little bit of Gangnam style after that game. This is a count for Dom Juan making lots of mistakes because they would never win on even foot. Welcome to the post-game analysis of game one between Dom Juan Gaming and Afrika Freaks. Dom Juan was able to take the first game. Uh, if we recap the draft phase, then both teams took champion compositions according to their styles. The Dalmon took TF Camille to bolster their uh, solo laners. 
And a freak of freaks took Mystic's Aphelios, who was his uh, comfort pick. And Aphelios was able to single-handedly carry the game if the opportunity was given. However, failed to do so. And despite picking TF blindly for Tom One, Whatever counterpick comes out from Africa Freaks, then Tomo was confident in any matchup available. And TF played a critical role in terms of decimating Africa Freaks. And Africa, Africa Freaks started off with a great double kill in the early game, and maybe uh, Mystic, hopefully Mystic can carry the game. However, Tom was stru struck back. And Dong Rui seemed to be just uh, returning back to his respective lane. Not sure if it was a play call or it was his instincts, but Dong Rui actually heads towards the mid lane. And because the situation is quite dire, so they wanted to uh, keep the hero. But Freaka Freaks actually engaged towards TF in the mid lane. Actually, it worked out perfectly well for Tomlin's case. So Tomlin had to make a play because they started off pretty um, miserably, giving up two kills in the bot lane. And um, everyone actually congregated towards uh, TF from the both sides, and then the skirmish occurred. And Frika ended up taking a lot of losses. Also, uh, Renekton not tagging along with Camille to the mid lane, but stayed in the top. And I think Keen didn't expect such a catastrophic event will occur in the mid lane and didn't use TP on time to join the fray. And Tomlin was able to overcome that early deficit and was able to come back. Well, once again, Freak of Freaks wanted to uh, believe in Mystic and rely on Mystic to carry, but failed to do so. And once again, despite getting the two kills in the early game, Phileas wasn't able to do much. So Freak of Freaks changed their game plan into a very bot lane heavy one. And they checked out Lee Sin going top and then he immediately engaged at the bot lane. So Freak of Freaks focus fires are set. Whereas Tomon focus fired Aphelios. So it's always good for uh, a team that can get rid of the opposition's carry. So Tomon made the correct choice of focusing focusing uh, Aphelios. And also TF's ultimate is instantaneous. So as soon as he landed, he was able to gold card Aphelios and inflict damage on it. So this was a very well-coordinated play from Tomon Gaming Sen. And despite Africa Freaks trying to make initiatives, they ended up in a regrettable fashion. Alright, let's check who will be the player of the game for this Game 1. Tom believes it will be Twisted Fate, but it's actually Lee Sen. Lee Sin, his play by Canyon was very stellar. And without a single death, he carried the entire team by himself. Lee Sin is very specialized in taking down a single target. As you can see, there were a lot of uh, 2v2s, 3v3s, or 4v4 skirmishes. And Canyon was on point with his skill use. And that pinpoint accuracy allowed Lee Sin to dominate these skirmishes and then carry the game in the end. And it's very difficult that Lee Sin can get this kind of a flawless and great game in LCK especially. But Canyon was able to execute flawlessly and then showed off a great performance with his Lee Sin. So he received 9 votes out of 12. And because, let's see how, whether uh, Tamon can close it up in a clean sheet and go home as soon as possible, or can Africa retaliate? Our gentleman at the desk. 